again, everybody, and welcome to this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. I'm your host, Spencer Chrisman. And in this week's episode, we're going to recap the Louisiana College Wildcats' first win in the American Southwest Conference and talk to our football correspondent, Alonzo Bellamy. But first, the Wildcats will be playing a rainy game against Howard Payne, and here's a look at the highlights. The Louisiana College Wildcats will get set to take on Howard Payne in the first ASC game of the season. First play of the game, and Thomas Head will run a quarterback draw and be hit hard by senior Nate Jansen. Third down for the Yellow Jackets, and Head will try to run it on the option, but will be tackled by Jansen again. After a quick three and out by the Wildcats and a couple of penalties by the Yellow Jackets, Head will try and throw, but Otis Chapman will force the fumble, recovered by Preston Tebow. After the turnover, third and seven now for the Wildcats, and Jamie Boney will try and throw, but the ball slips out of his hands and recovered by Howard Payne. First down for the Yellow Jackets, and Head will run the ball himself and will be tackled by Richard Logan for only a gain of one yard. Tackle, run at the line of scrimmage. Adrian Lightherd will get the handoff this time and will only find a group of Wildcats. Head will try and throw this time on third down, but will be intercepted by Dominic Graham, who returns it for 15 yards. Wildcats will try and take advantage of the turnover, and Ron Montague will get the handoff and pick up 19 yards. First and goal, and Montague will punch it in from two yards out. Wildcats score first, going up 7-0 in the first quarter. From two yards away. Lightherd will get the ball this time and will be met by a host of Wildcats. Head again will try to run the ball himself, but it finds it difficult to find any running room against the Wildcats defense. Another quick three and out by the Wildcats offense, and Howard Payne gets the ball and picks up 22 yards on the reverse. Later in the drive, third down now for the Yellow Jacks, and Zaron Dove gets the ball on a draw and picks up the first. Head continues to try to run the ball on the quarterback keepers and finds it hard to find any yards against the Wildcats. Start of the second quarter and Head will try and run the option and will be stopped by the Wildcats after picking up two yards. Third and goal and Dove will get the ball and will be stood up by a host of Wildcats. Joshua Martinez will make a 27-yard field goal. Wildcats still lead 7-3 in the second. Wildcats trying to get something going on offense. Third down now, and Bunny will connect with Cortland Bell for 14 yards and a first down. Later in the drive, fourth down, and Bunny will complete a pass to Kyle Gallion for the first down. Montague will get the ball this time and picks up 20 yards on the carry and shows his elusiveness. Wildcats facing another fourth down, and Bunny will go back to pass and will be sacked and fumbles the football, recovered by the Yellow Jacket. Wildcat defense steps up and forces the Yellow Jackets to go three and out, and Reggie Sims will pick up 11 yards for the Wildcats. Bunny will find Gallon again, who breaks a few tackles and picks up seven yards. Third and three, and Bunny will take it himself and will pick up the first down. Job, Giving the ball back to the Yellow Jackets after a failed fourth down conversion, Joseph Bell will get the ball and pick up a yard. Third down now for the Yellow Jackets, and Head will find some running room 
as he picks up seven yards in the first. Dove on the carry here and will be tackled by the big Justin Williams for a two-yard loss. Third and long and Head will try and throw and will be nearly intercepted by the freshman Richard Jefferson. Wildcats trying to get something going as Bunning throws a quick pass to Demario Parker for six yards. Bunning will throw to Bell who climbs the ladder to make the catch and a first down for the Cats. Bunning goes back to Galley on a screenplay as he breaks a few tackles and turns on the Jets for a 68-yard touchdown. Wildcats extend their lead to 14-13 going into halftime. Coming out, I, I wouldn't want to run behind any other guys in our line. You know, they, they know how to block and they just open up a hole and I had to make it happen. After a punt by the Wildcats to start the third quarter, Lightherd will get the carry here and picks up 42 yards for the Yellow Jackets. Third and short and Lightherd will get the ball this time and picks up the first down. First down and Lightherd will get the call again and picks up five yards. Wildcat defense forces a third down and Head will look to pass but Broderick Frederick breaks it up. Martinez will make another 27 yard field goal. Wildcats still lead 14 to six in the third. Quarterback change for the Wildcats, and senior Tim Curry will connect with Parker for a 46-yard gain. Curry will look to throw again and finds Bell in the end zone, who makes a great catch. Wildcats extend their lead 21-6. spark offensively and of course we worked and have been working Tim all year you know and I felt like he deserved a, a chance and you know he did some good things when he was in there and, and uh, left him in there and you know we got the win. Right before that play Tim, I told Tim I don't think he can hold me just give me a shot and he trusted me and he just threw it up and I just had to make a play on it it was something that I don't know I just I just had to make that play. I missed, I missed a few of them in the first quarter, and I just got a second chance to make up for it. And Yellow Jackets will try and answer as Lightherd picks up 10 yards. Lightherd gets the call again and picks up another nine yards. Head will try to hand it off back to Lightherd, but fumbles the snap, and Graham recovers the ball for the Wildcats. Wildcats will look to take advantage of the miscue, and Curry will find Bell again for his second touchdown of the day. Wildcats continue to pour it on, 28-6 in the third. But if you want to play 15, you keep grinding, you keep learning, you keep yeah. watching, you keep running a good route. All right? If you don't run that high angle, that doesn't happen. Yeah. You good understand? Route, All that stuff matters, man. On the Yellow Jackets' next possession, they will fumble again, recover by Williams for the Wildcats. Wildcats will look to put the game away, and Curry will connect with Brian Sampson for 21 yards. Second down now, and Sims will get the handoff and picks up seven yards. 
Adon Oliveris comes on and makes a 19-yard field goal. Wildcats up big, 31-6, still in the third. Yellow Jackets still fighting as Hay completes a pass to Aston Murray. Ira Jewett makes the tackle. Lighthurst still running hard, and he picks up eight yards. Later in the drive, Lighthurst will be stopped in the backfield by Landon Henry and Justin Williams. Third down, and Head will throw a pass to Lighthurst in the flats. Wildcats stop him short of the first down. Wildcats back on offense to begin the fourth and Curry completes a pass to Parker who picks up eight yards. Curry will throw again and finds his big tight end Josh Robinson who picks up 28 yards. Montague will get the ball here and he picks up eight yards. Curry will throw again and finds Justin Miller for 13 yards in a first down. Offense in a groove now, but Curry will throw an interception as he tries to find Parker down the sideline. Yellow Jackets deep in their own territory. Third down now and Head will try and throw, but decides to run, but will be stopped just outside of his own end zone. Wildcats with the ball again, and on third down, Curry will look to throw, but takes off and picks up five yards. Fourth and two for the Wildcats, and Curry will complete a pass to Alan Garon, who picks up 14 yards, first and goal for the Wildcats. Wildcats will keep it on the ground this time as Sims picks up five yards. Sims will get the ball again and scores from four yards out his first career touchdown as a Wildcat. Wildcats lead 38-6 in the fourth. <laughs> Bell will get the carry here for the Yellow Jackets but will be stopped after picking up a yard. Third down and Jake Burhalter will be nearly intercepted by Jefferson. After a punt by both teams, Wildcats with the ball again and looking to run the clock out as Garan picks up 22 yards. Wildcats will win their first ASC game of the year 38-6. You got the W, you're 1-0 in conference, and that's what matters at this point. Let's come back next week, and let's keep fighting and keep battling, and let's be 2-0. and Here's the bottom line, we got two very good quarterbacks, and uh, you know, they'll both, you know, continue to, to work and practice, and whoever has a hot hand will be the, the quarterback that'll play. And, and I think, you know, we're fortunate in that that position doesn't have to win for us, it just can't lose for us. We're, we're, we're good around that position. We got very good offensive line, very good running backs, very good receivers. We just can't uh, allow that position to be inconsistent and keep us from moving the football. So, you know, that was the reason for the change and, and uh, we'll continue to we'll continue to work too. And, and again, whoever's got the hot hand, that's who we'll go with. Tell me, first of all, uh, you had a fumble recovery, one that they said was a, you know, was an incomplete pass. But how to feel out, get out there, and make a couple big plays today? Oh man, it felt real great. It felt great. It's, I ain't made plays in two years, man. Just happy to be out here at LC. LC doing me good. This team wasn't too good, but we came out, we gave 100, percent and just defense, defense actually made the plays. I just got happy to get on the fumble, couple fumbles, man. And that's that's what it was. I'm, I'm just happy to be here again, like I said. And, God bless me with the time to play football, and that's what I'm going to do. That post, that's one of my favorite routes, and uh, getting a chance to run it, it was, I don't know, man. God's really good in the way that he works, man, and uh, this team is really putting in a lot of work, and um, just to see the fruits of the labor is really good. I mean, not just that one play. We had a lot of plays before that that kind of fed to that moment, so it's like we prepare for the moment, and that's what happened. We were already prepared for it, and it just happened. So. I didn't know I was going in until I got on the field. Uh, Coach Dunn told me, pulled me to the side and said, you know, I'm just going in. And uh, 
what I was planning on doing is just coming out, getting our rhythm back, trying to find our identity, and trying to put points up on the board. And uh, offense line did a great job blocking for me. Receivers made you know great, great routes, or ran great routes, and I was just you know put the ball and let them make plays. Definitely, our receivers are outstanding, the best in the nation, I believe. And uh, my job is real simple. I mean, I just drop back and give the give the ball to those guys and let them go to work, you know. And uh, they do an outstanding job. Our offense line does an outstanding job in giving me time. And you know, Montague, uh, he he does a great job, you know. Uh, running the ball as well. A great job by the Wildcats, and now I'm here with Alonzo Bellamy. Alonzo, just talk about Tim's play coming in the second half. Well, I mean, Tim Tim came in with with a swag and just and just a demeanor like he was ready to take care of business. I mean, he he made some big plays and led us on led us on some crucial drives that were, that um really enabled us to to extend the lead going until the end of the game. Right now, uh, Alonzo Cortland Bell really stepped up and he was really a spark for the offense in the second half. Just talk about his play. Well, yeah, Cortland, Cortland practices very hard, so I mean, it's it's no it's no surprise when he shows up on game day. He's he's always prepared, along with the rest of our receivers. They really they really go hard in practice. I mean, coach, coach um drills them hard, just about all all practice long. They're they're on their feet. They're always moving around. So so it's kind of easy for them to move around on Saturdays. Right, Alonzo. Now you got two great quarterbacks. Just talk about what that does for a team. Well, yeah. When I mean, when you have when you have two quarterbacks that's that's capable of coming in and, and making big plays, I mean, it does it does make the defense a little a little uncomfortable. I mean, Jamie Jamie had a, had a sluggish start, but I mean, he's still he's still our quarterback. He's still he's still capable of making of, of making the plays that Tim made when he was in. I mean, it was just just a matter of, it, it was just a matter of the momentum shift in the game. Tim right. came in doing that momentum shift. Right now, Alonzo, just talk about uh, your defense, and they played well, and they uh, didn't give up a touchdown, and only limited them, limited the, the offense to two field goals. Yeah, our, de our defense. I mean, they come, they come to play every Saturday. Just about. I mean, they're 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 a defense that's going to hit you. They're going to hit you in the mouth every time. They're going to deliver a blow, and they really they really make a lot of teams. They, they really make a lot of teams back down and lay down for them. Now, Alonzo, y'all play ETBU this weekend, and it's uh, it's an annual rivalry. Just talk about the game and the preparation for this week. Well, I mean, going going into this week, I mean, we expect to handle business, business, um, just just like any other week. I mean, we're gonna come out with the same attitudes. I mean, not not taking any plays off, and I think I think coach is just gonna drill the players into our head even more. He's just gonna work on reputation and speed. I mean, he's just gonna focus on playing fast like we always do. Nothing different. Now, Alonzo, that uh, what do y'all expect to do? Anything different on offense? Or you keep it the same, and you know, keep running with Ryan out of you and throwing it when y'all have to. Yeah, I mean, I, I really think we're going to continue to use Montague as our workhorse. I mean, he's he's been carrying the load for us all season long. I mean, no, I I really don't see a reason to stop now. I mean, but as for our passing game, I re, I really think that we'll. I mean, it it depends on if Ryan gets off to a good start. I mean, usually when he gets off to a good start, we we usually have no problems when it's time to throw the ball. So, so we we we, we should really just have a balanced offense like always. Right now, Alonzo, just talk about uh, Reggie Sims uh, played a good bit Saturday, and uh, just talk about his play when he stepped in for Ron. Well, Reggie, Reggie is a capable back just as well as Ryan. I mean, we we're blessed with depth on the offensive side. I mean, we have we have backups that are that are just as good as the starters, and Reggie Reggie is a back that is very elusive and speedy in the in the holes. And I mean, he's he's just ready to play when his number is called. All right, now the uh, Louisiana College Wildcats travel to Marshall, Texas to take on ET ETBU for the Battle of the Border Claw at 7 p.m. For Alonzo Bellamy, I'm Spencer Crispin for Wildcat Weekly on wildcastmedia.com.